What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Joystick. Now, a lot of you viewers out there will probably be wondering, what is this channel? Well, this channel is a channel about gaming and gaming content. What am I going to be doing here? Gaming, because most of every channel on here is about gaming on YouTube, at least. The others are just vlogs and stuff and things that have to do with your hair. But I think, you know, for a starting channel, I don't think a you know, a good starting videos, good starting videos should have to do with conga and TF2. So I think I should at least make a little tutorial for most of you out there. Now I know there's a, I know there's already a bunch of tutorials on this, but I think, you know, for a, for a, you know, for a first video, I might as well do this. A Half-Life DJ tutorial. Now, what is Half-Life DJ? Many, many people say it's an audio program to play audio in the game. No, it's not. It's a program to play mic spam and audio in games. Games. Okay? Games. Get that word in your head. Because you can play it in almost any Steam game. Just to annoy the hell out of your friends. And sometimes, you know, when you want to listen to good tunes sometimes while you're shooting people up with a minigun or sniping people. You know, you want to be listening to, I don't know, some type of... YouTube parody song, or you just want to mic spam the hell out of a game, or mic spam the hell out of a server that's getting on your nerves. That's okay, because this tutorial is going to show you how to do it. The first thing you're going to need is you're going to need to go to that link in the description, which should be Half-Life DJ, as you can see right here, Half-Life DJ. Now, Half-Life DJ, as I've said, is a program which allows you to play audio in your game, if you didn't know that already. You're going to want to download either one of these. It doesn't really matter which one you download. I downloaded the 32-bit one because I really didn't know what this one was. So, download any of these. After you download them, uh, it should pop up like this right here. But there should be a message saying, you know, would you like to add in all of your games? You know, you got to install it first and everything. But once, you know, it, it should ask, would you like to add all of your games? You're going to click yes, of course. Because then I don't have to show you the other thing. But, you know, in case you actually mislead delete it, you're going to want to go to your options, and you're going to want to go to this little tab right here, the gear sign. Go to add, and then you can add in. If it doesn't give you the option, you're going to want to go to that. You're going to want to go to where I am, and you're going to want to type in your game's name. Uh, press the source, which usually it's not gold SRC. It's usually this one. The play audio key is usually the one you want to, you know, play your audio key with. That basically means, you know, with that type of game, you want to bind the audio key with any of these things. I binded it with uh, NumLock 6. I think that's, yeah, NumPad 6. <coughs> right arrow. Then you're going to want to enter in your game directory, which is usually, you know, the actual game directory of that game. The audio directory can stay the same, unless you don't want it in Half-Life DJ's audio system. You can have it somewhere else. But I have most of my audio in the audio directory. After you do all of this, you're going to want to go to Audio Converter. Now, you'll probably be wondering, you know, you want to choose the game you want to mic spam, or choose the game you want to, you know, do all of your stuff. Usually, if you don't have Gary's Mod or Left 4 Dead 2, or you do have them, it, it'll probably not include them, so you'll probably have to add them. I'm not exactly sure, because I didn't have Gary's Mod or Left 4 Dead 2 when I got Half-Life DJ. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do to actually start getting stuff together is you're going to want to go to this little audio thing right here, and this will pop up. Then it'll say Source, Volume, Quality, Input, Output, question mark. You don't need this, because you're watching this video. Don't mess with any of this stuff unless, you know, you want your quality in different ways. Volume should stay the same unless you really want to blast the shit out of a server. Input and output. Now, input is usually where you want your, um, wave files or MP3 files to turn into your wave files. Now, how do you actually convert the audio? That's pretty easy, gentlemen. Now, you've, pro you've probably been in games like TF2 and Gary's Mod, and you've probably heard people mic spamming quotes like, Fuck you, and, you know, things like that. Or that's how you skin a cat, or a dog, or a pigeon. If you want that type of stuff, you're gonna want to head on over to YouTube, which I will place the link in the description for a whole entire playlist of forum weapons. Now, let's say, for example, you want forum weapons. Forum weapons are usually the best, because that's usually where everybody gets them from. So, let's say, for example, you want a black kid that's saying, racist. That's racist. And then... Okay, we'll go back to that quickly. And then a cookie appears. 
can we can we stay on this one video for like two seconds? Thank you. Thank you. Let's say you want a black kid. I'll put the link in the description for this whole entire playlist and all these other playlists. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go up here to the link and you're want to you you're going to want to press control, hold down control and then press C. Once doing that, you're going to want to head on over to youtube slash mp3.org, and I'll put that link in the description too. Click that link and then pre press control V. That link will now go in there. Now type, uh, not type, click convert video. Then click download, and that, as we can see, that video will now probably go down to this drop, doc, drop box anytime soon. Alright, now that we have it in here, it'll show in folder. That's a lot of stuff. Okay. Now, as we can see here, I have no idea where that is. Okay, it's right here. I'm going to copy this, or I'm going to just move it. You're going to... Co I'm copying this. Now, I'm going to go to download. You're going to want to find your Half-Life DJ folder, and then you're going to want to find your audio. Oh, I'm sorry. Not your audio. You should have a... Uh, let's see. Where is it? Uh, okay. It's either in your Half-Life DJ or... I'm sorry. <laughs> There's no folder like that. You're going to want to create a folder in the Half-Life DJ system. And you're going to want to name it Songs to Convert or Songs Converting or Giant Elephants Shitting on Tigers. Anything you want. But once doing that, you're going to want to place it into the folder. As you can see here, I'm pasting it right there. I'm going to delete this because this doesn't need to be in here. Okay, goodbye, Aloe Black. Now you're going to want to head on to your Half-Life DJ system, as we can see here. Right here. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go stay on your audio converter, and you're, you're going to basically want to search into your input directory and find songs to convert or giant elephants shitting on tigers, or whatever you named it to. After doing that, you're going to press the play button. As you can see, it should say finished, converted one audio file, audio file, Ugh. Converted one audio file in total. Sorry. I had some coffee before I did this. After you do that, it'll convert right to the audio folder, which we can see right here. If we can get to it, maybe, maybe. Mm -hmm. Audio. And it should be somewhere, but I have so much stuff that I'm probably not going to be able to find it. But if we can maybe... Here it is. That's racist. And now it will be in your MP3 folder in your audio in Half-Life DJ. So after doing that, you can play it, okay? You, you can press this little thing, but the reason I'm not going to press it is because I have a, I have a window capture on, but I'll, I can show after footage if you would like me to. I will do that, like, right after, like, here we go. I'm going to just teleport right to the video, right here. Here we go. Da -da. Spooky, scary skeletons. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're in the game, and now I will direct everyone's attention to the Half-Life DJ console commands. Now, many people may ask, Joybox Community Channel, what is the console? Well, the console is basically just a giant box full of commands that you can enter in. But this is the main thing you're going to need for Half-Life DJ to work. Now, many people may also ask when they go into a server and they try to play sounds that the audio does not actually go through and they cannot hear them hear their own audio or they can only hear themselves. That is probably because the server does not allow mic spamming or audio to go through Half-Life DJ, and that is okay, because I will put IPs in the description of servers that do allow mic spam. So here we go. The first step you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, um, the first step you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your options, of course. A little lag there. Then you're going to want to go to your keyboard setting and go to advanced. Once going to advanced, these little two options should show a fast weapon switch and enable developer console. You're going to want to make sure this is checked in the little box. And then press OK. Click apply and then click OK. Oh, before you click OK, you might want to come down here and make sure your toggle developer console is binded so it, you know, when you press the button, it nothing happens. Um, mine is um, the little apostrophe next to the one. So now we're going to press OK. The first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to type in Half-Life DJ. Just the just the little text, Half-Life DJ. No, like, actual half, just, you know, HLDJ. <clears throat> the next thing you're going to want to do is if you're in a private server of yours or you are hosting a server, you're going to want to set this command on. And this command goes out for anybody who ever joins your server or, you know, it's just a private server just for you and your bots to listen to music. Just type sv underscore use 
underscore steam underscore voice. Then you're going to want to space, and then you're going to set it to zero. Um, zero is usually the best way to do this because one will make your voice come out. As we can see here, if I press my binded Half-Life DJ key, I will now, talk, I will through now talk through the game. And that is not what you want. You want your audio to go through the game. That's what many people have been having problems with. I'm going to give this little command. And we're going to set the 1 to 0. Once doing that, this will now allow you to play audio from your Half-Life DJ system in TF2. Or any game you're using. Now, after you... Oh, sorry about this. All this stuff just popped up. After you set that into the way it is, you're going to want to type LA. Just LA. Kind of like, um... Don't do last to got last disguise or anything just type LA kind of like Los Angeles basically Los Angeles in TF2 LA once typing LA all of your audio in your audio folder will pop up now as you can see we have you know it's gonna be named as the YouTube video or music that you actually converted next to every single audio file there's a number this number goes this number basically tells you that you're gonna need to choose the number to choose the audio audio file so let's look through with this I have a lot I so let's say you know I wanna do I am penis cupcake so we're gonna type in 88 after doing 88 press your binded half-life DJ audio key I am penis cupcake I will eat you as you can see it plays smoothly now I do recommend you know doing the YouTube to mp3 don't try to record your own files because it'll probably end up not sounding as good as this does it sounds pretty clear to me as we can see here I tried to do it with a friend of mine who recorded his voice in my iPad Fuck me in the and as you can see it doesn't uh, come up as clear as the other audio file so I suggest you know converting your YouTube videos instead of trying to record them and then putting them on here so yes I guess that's about it for you know first ever video first ever tutorial in here I hope this guy I hope this helped you out a lot guys or viewers or you know whoever's watching this I hope this uh, little tutorial helped you out so yeah happy trails hope you guys have a great day and subscribe like comment whatever you want to do bye